Okay, so um, I set about doing this video today for uh, this particular reason right here. So if you're on the show, um, my name is Michael. Grandkids call me Roo. That's short for rooster because my last name means rooster. Some of you say, why does he paint roosters? And this whole next demonstration uh, evolved when I was asked to go paint with uh, a class of second and third graders. And there were a bunch of them combined. They were all sitting in the floor. And I thought, they can't see what I'm painting if I'm up on the table because I can't paint watercolor up on the wall like this. And so I decided to just sort of uh, get down on the floor, which is tough for an old guy, and say, I need three of you to join me and take this liquid concentrated watercolor that I have right here in, on my desk. Here's the desk right here. Uh, three primary colors, a red, a yellow, and a blue, a gamboge, a cad red, and a ultramarine blue. And I need each of you to just drop some colors on the page. And I've done this a couple of times on my show. I thought what I'd do is spend 10 minutes with you today because um, someone asked me about the painting I did yesterday and said, hey, it's eight by eight. Um, you seem to have done it awfully quickly. And I said, well, I was uh, in the workshop. I was encouraging people to do a five minute doodle. And sometimes my doodles are bigger than that. And so the teacher said, can you do this in 10 minutes? And I said, without thinking, <clears throat> supposed to think like an artist, I said, um, I can do it in eight minutes and 57 seconds. She goes, well, that's strange. And I said, and so am I. So here we go. So a little uh, music, and then I'm going to just start sketching here. And I thought what I'd do is I'm going to look at this rooster one more time, because this is kind of what I'm going to paint right there. There's the little rooster. Uh, the one like I did yesterday. So he swooped off here. Tail starts. And, um, and then I'm going to set my timer for eight minutes and 57 seconds. <laughs> just because I'm a goofy guy. So here's the timer. So I'm going to go for eight right there and 57 right here and just see how I do. I mean, it's not like I uh, the world ends if I don't get it. So here we go. There's my timer sitting right there and a little alarm I think will go off here when we're finished. See if the volume's turned up some. It may ring anyway. So here we go. So good afternoon to some of you. I've got Linda and Laurel and Jason and June all hanging out on the show. There's a few few more people. So I'm uh, I'm not going to say hello. I've got it set. Look, here's what I did just for preface before I start my timer. This is an 8x8. Eight eight. This is hot press. I'm going to be painting this on a piece of 8x8 eight eight cold press Kilimanjaro. And I've taped it down on a small birch panel. Just so when you're working with concentrate or liquid ink, what happens is... Uh, it wants to get up and run with you. And so instead of me trying to pick up the paper and go, whoa, no, and spill it on my beautiful uh, hand-me-down white shirt, I can pick it up on a board and just sort of work it like this. I've got a mason jar of clean water. I have my concentrated hydrous colors. And I have a 07 Pentel Intergel needle tip pen. And I have three bamboo brushes. And I think I'm going to choose the one in the middle and just sort of stay with it maybe the whole time. I've got a mason jar with some tea. Or was that my paint water? <laughs> a little picture in picture. And uh, hello, hey, Alan, uh, Kill Kitty from Ireland. Welcome to you, man. I'm glad I'm in the middle of the day and you can be here. So here we go. Get ready. Um, I get a text message from somebody. I won't worry about that. And here we go on your mark. I need some music. I don't have anything eight minutes long, so I'm just going to put on uh, a piece of music and let it happen as it happens. Here we go. And start. That's uh, going to get me started so far. And then I'm just going to come out with a little clean water. I'm going to move everything over so you can sort of see it. Um, can you? Uh, you know I'm carrying water over. No, I'd rather you see the painting. So I think it's about right there. Here we go. All right, so a little water. You can't see the water go in, but trust me, I'm splashing it around a little bit. It's kind of going in there, kind of heavy. I want one more little piece to this waddle right here. So there we go. I'm going to touch a little water here, a little bit of water here. And uh, did I start? Did I start my clock? Yeah. Where is it? It's oh, okay. 
All right, there it is. It's eight minutes and five seconds rolling. Can you see it right there? All right, so we'll see how we do here. Now, I'm just going to take that much and I'm going to grab a little bit of, uh, I'm going to grab a little bit of red first and I'm just going to drop it here and a little bit of red here and one little spot there, one little spot there and maybe a spot right there. I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. This is gamboge. I'm going to grab it here. I didn't wet that, so I'm just going to put it there and then I'm going to just do a little touch of water right or yellow right there one more touch of red right here um, and I'm gonna throw some blue in the background and here it goes we'll drop it in from way up there and just another piece there and a little piece here that should give me plenty to work with as I said about here all right how are we doing on our time seven minutes and 16 seconds left to go I think I'm gonna do this so when I drop this in for the school kids they go, how do you know where the rooster is? Because sometimes I don't even sketch the rooster. Now I'm going to get some green here where this blue and green run together. And I'm going to like that very much. So here's where I'm going to pull this out to the tail. Ooh, that's a little more blue than I wanted in there. So I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to push some of that down and blow some of it out of there. And I got to keep my trash can close by because, you know, I try to still live up in this office. So... All right, a little more yellow here. Now I'm using this as the, uh, I think my head's in the way. There it is right there. I'm out now. Got to be careful when you're trying to do a quick demo like this. So um, look what's happening here, though. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of this uh, yellow and just pick it up on my brush right here. And I'm going to set about bringing some green in this tail just like that. Just beautiful. Pull that piece up a little bit. I wish that had curled. There we go. That's what I was checking right there. Now, I've got to create some leg color with how much left? Six minutes and, all right, I'm going to create some leg color by jumping in here and grabbing my brush on its side right in here like this. Grab this. This is liquid watercolor. It's concentrate. It's, it's called Hydrus. It's Dr. P.H. Martin Hydrus. And uh, I buy this at Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. And I use it sometimes to demo with, but I also use it when I want a painting to just pop. And so that's kind of where I'm going with this. Now, I took a little bit of that blue and let it run into the leg. And I'm going to do the same thing here and just let it drift down a little bit. Um, I'm going to pick up a little more yellow right here. And I want, to, I want to take another paper towel, just a piece of one. And I'm going to go right in here and just kind of, uh, I think the word would be daub that out a little bit or dab, depending on how north or south of the Mason-Dixon line you live. I just dabbed a little more of that yellow in there, come in like this, and then I'm going to pick some of that up and just use this brush to feather some of this out, just like this, building some feathers up as I go. I, I like that. And I'm going to put a little dark of that inside this wattle. I believe that, or excuse me, this comb. I think this comb could have been just a little larger when I sketched it. So now I'm going to work backwards. I'm just going to take my pen and go around those two pieces that I just did right there, okay? So I, I kind of like that. Now I'm taking this and watch this pen right on top of the watercolor. That's one reason I like this um, needle tip. Uh, I need a little more of my, uh, there's a little orange coming through there on the legs, which I don't mind a bit. Let's go in and put a little bit of detail as I go, catch it in here. Um, I think now, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, 426 to go. I'm going to make my 857, I believe, really well. But I'm going to take this now. And I'm just going to do a little bit of earth underneath him here with some cross hatching, just like this. Cross it just like this a little bit. And I'm going to get a clean brush, wash it out. And I'm going to come in here and just clean water. I hope that's not my tea. <laughs> um, all right. If it is, I'm going to be back down in the kitchen in a minute. And I'm going to need a little bit of grass. So let's look at this right here. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of grass from the rooster. See him right there? That's that's beautiful. A little green right in there. Just a little blue-green coming down. And I'll just pick that right up in there like this and put that in. Just a few strands to go over. Um, this is still just a little heavy for me. I'm not happy with the beak yet. There it is. Oh, yes. I like that already. And I'm going to put one little touch of orange in that too. Just I like that. And then I'm going to pick up um, light little fluffs of this brush like this. Um, now, I'm going to add another color. So I've got my, you see, I've done everything with primary colors. And by the way, I have a lot of paint resting down in here in the water. So I'm going to go get some of that also and just sort of pick it up. Just that much of it. I'm going to lay that there carefully. And I'm going to come in here with a little uh, titanium white. Let's see how my time's doing. 
307 to go. All right, we're, we're going to make it. And I'm going to drop this from about eight inches up. You got to make the sound effects. Uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to take my brush, a kind of a dry bamboo brush, point it out a little bit with my hand right here. And then I'm just going to spring that up into that blue, just like that. The same with this piece right here. Just rock, rock it up in there. Kind of like how that came in. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to pick some blue right here and come in here. It's going to look like blacker shadows coming in. That's kind of cool. And let's see, a little more shadow down here. A little red and a little blue right here. Going to give me a little bit of a purple shadow down here underneath. Um, grab a little bit of this right here and go ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Put a caption on it. And I think we're done. I'm going to clean up his eye just a little bit. Put it in there just like that. Some pin marks. A few little loose hairs in here like this. And let's see how I'm doing here. 2.03 to go. I only had a few minutes today to paint because of some projects that I'm working on. Wait, I'm going to leave that piece right there just for a second. Let me put that back. Grab some of this blue and build a little bit of, uh, of a barrier. I think that'll look good if I give this thing just a touch more. Uh, a touch more. I just created a new word there. Attach. Um I want him to be attached to this sideways is what I'm trying to say here. Now let me peel that off and you'll see what I've done. Here, move that. Move that. How am I doing? 132 to go. <laughs> and so I'm going to have my 857 route. What I'm working on is here is that I'm taking some of the things I did in the workshop. I'm taking some of the things that I do in life every day as an artist. Not that I'm in such a big hurry, but this loose style of just letting the decisions be made for me is part of what I do. And so... With a minute, 10 seconds to go, I'm going to just tie, uh, write a caption on this. Like the, I did the one yesterday that says, where W-E-R-E, where, -E, is that how you spell it? W-H-E-R-E, where's the coffee? <laughs> and then I'm going to sign this right in here. RooDoodles.com. 2023 there's an m there that stands for michael and i have finished this painting and there he is i love the green and by the way this is the green that's the green when you just let blue and yellow and a touch of uh, that orange or red come in there and it just creates a spring green that you could probably get no other way you gotta love it a little eyelash or two here how much time do i have left 16 seconds watch this 16 seconds, I can use all that time up to put a few more veining in here. 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, a couple of little dimples, three, two, one. And there it is, stop the timer. All right, I'm done. I'm going to well, let that be today's auction painting. And it just happened in eight minutes and 57 seconds. So um, when people say, I just wish I had more time to paint, I say, well, uh, you know, life is short. So take as much time as you need to, but sometimes get out of your box by doing it a little bit differently. And there's my painting. And you know what? I really uh, couldn't have painted this the way that it turned out. I just splashed the water in. You saw it. And so I'll make this video a little shorter and probably put it out on Instagram. But it's going to be posted with this uh, painting right here. And that's going to be, look, and you're going to say to yourself, hey, you know, you left out a couple pieces right up in there. And I'm going like, I left out a lot of stuff, but I don't think I'm going to change it. 567. <laughs> Somebody's already bid on it. Hey, Maureen Laniac, good to have you on the show. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to do a rooster. So, although, and it does, it takes less sometimes to do flowers, my friend. So, blessings to you. So, I don't do this very often in the middle of the day, but I had a little bit of time here between projects. I'm shifting gears into another media project today. And uh, I wanted to just come online and follow up on that five minute uh, thing that I was talking to my workshop about is that, can you just do a five minute doodle? And some of them, by the way, I have seen, and they're just fantastic. I looked at them on Roost Crew. I just can't believe some of you pulled it off in five minutes, but they're beautiful. And I ask you to even find a couple paintings this week to give away. Uh, I gave away a little painting last night to a young lady who waited on our table. Her name was Shy. 
And so I looked at her like this, and I said, I don't think so. And she, I said, you may be called that. She goes, yeah, I'm just the opposite. And I said, I thought so. And she's moving into a new apartment. She's just moved to Charlotte. She's working at a restaurant. And um, she said, I've just got to get some furniture and um, saving some money now, living at home. And I said, well, let me give you the first painting you could put on your wall. And I painted a little rooster for her. And I said, hey, don't lose hope. And I wrote on there. Uh, one of my favorite sayings for roosters that says, when the rooster crows, hope dawns. And so uh, there it is. Anyway, thanks for being on. Uh, I'm going to post this one in just a second. He's going to be uh, uh, today's auction, Rue. And yes, he starts at, wait, I got a bid already at 6, what? <laughs> 567. <laughs> uh, Randy, if you'll at least take it up to 857. I actually, actually have a, I posted I was going to do this and somebody bid $25 and went, no, 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 that's the one I did yesterday. So uh, let's at least start it at eight fifty seven. dollars uh, But in this case, it started at six fifty seven. dollars uh, Denise, good afternoon to you from California. It's an easy one to watch. I'm out of here like a herd of turtles. Uh, Y'all be blessed. I took 16 minutes, but only eight fifty seven dollars to paint this painting. 